What's up, YouTube family? Um, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Wanted to hop on here, chit chat with you for a second, and give you guys some encouraging words today. Um, this kind of has something to do a little bit with what I've recently talked about. Um, and I think we all can agree that we have all gone through seasons in our lives or times in our lives where we have um, maybe we haven't been hearing from God lately or we don't feel close to him or you know we're, we're I, I see it all the time when people comment they say you know I've, I've been crying out to God I can't hear from him he's not listening to me he doesn't love me um, so I wanted to just give you guys some encouraging words today um, and give you guys you know my thoughts um, wanted to bring you a little bit of scripture today um, so I, I know sometimes um, Sometimes we're, you know, coasting through life and we're doing really good and, um, you know, we're, we're hearing from him. We, we feel super close to him. And then sometimes it just, it's just, it's, it's like it comes to a standstill. Like you're, you're not hearing from him. Um, you don't know where he's at. You know, you're, you're, you don't, you don't feel his closest. You don't feel, you just don't feel him. Um, and sometimes we we go off our emotions and we feel um, sad about it, or um, you know, when we're not hearing from him, we go off our uh, we go off of our feelings, thinking that God doesn't care about me or he doesn't love me um, as much as he did when I felt close to him or when he was talking to me or when I. Could, you know could feel him or when I was connecting with him very well and um, the the truth is that God still absolutely loves you and I know sometimes we go through these seasons where we're not hearing from him and we get really discouraged and we don't know why we're not hearing from him but I do believe that sometimes we have to go through these seasons in our lives where um, where we kind of have to lean on our faith and we have to um, use those moments where we feel like we're not hearing from him to, to draw closer to him. And I think sometimes he, he uses those seasons in our lives to, like I said, help us draw closer to him, to, to maybe go to church more. Um, because we can, you know, when we're really hearing from him and we really feel close to him, in the times that we're not, hearing from him and feeling close to him we can appreciate like we really truly appreciate and value the moments that we do and sometimes I feel like you know it doesn't mean that when you're not hearing from him that he doesn't love you he, he it's not like he loves you any less he still loves you he still cares about you because remember he died for you you know, God sent his only son to die for our sins on the cross. So, um, you know, God doesn't change. He still loves us. But sometimes he uses those moments to um, that we're not hearing from him. He wants us to draw closer to him. Because ultimately, y'all, God, he wants a, an, a, an intimate, close relationship with you. And even in the moments that you feel like, you you know have kind of drifted off of the path and maybe you've kind of fell into something that you know you shouldn't be doing um i watched this um i watched somebody on youtube she is so precious um she is a true child of god i know that she's saved she said that she has been saved recently and um, i was watching one of her recent videos and um she was you know talking about something that she kind of fell into and it was taking all of her her um her time and her energy and she wasn't putting her focus on God and she said that you know I can't feel him like I don't feel close to him I don't feel his presence he's not speaking to me and she you know she's a true born-again Christian and so of course God you know the Holy Spirit pulled her back to where she needed to be and, and quickened her and and pulled her out of you know the you know what she was doing I think that um, she she thinks that um, that she walked away from God and that she kind of I don't know if she thinks that she maybe lost her salvation or that she walked away um, and I don't know if she thinks that in that time that if God came back she would have been left behind I don't believe that I truly believe that 
um, when you are a true born again Christian, um, you know, there's nothing that can snatch you out of his hands. That's something that the Bible teaches us and is, and God is very clear on. Um, but, um, so, uh, so I just, God will use things like that. Um, and even when we're in situations where we're doing things that we're not supposed to be doing or, or we're idolizing things that are taking up too much of our time. Um, yes, of course, when we're not talking to him a whole lot, when other things are taking more of our attention, um, because God, God speaks more to you and you're speaking more to him. You know, when you spend a lot of time in prayer, he speaks back, you know, it just depends on, you know, who are you putting first? What are you putting first? Um, and us as true born again Christians, you know, we, we get distracted with life and sometimes it is different for everybody. You know, you get distracted with, with things in your life that, you know, sometimes people can get distracted for a full year. You know, it just depends on what it is that you're doing, but, um, God will pull you back and, and it will use those moments when you're not hearing from him to help draw you closer. Um, but I, I wanted to bring you um, a couple, uh, a little bit of scripture, um, Mark chapter 4. So this is when they're in the boat and everything's going fine and, and Jesus had fell asleep. Um, Mark chapter 4, it says, <clears throat> um, verse 35, it says, On the same day when, e when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude... They took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. So it's telling us that Jesus, you know, everybody's hanging out, um, everything's cool, and then the storm is coming, and then the disciples, they look, and like, Jesus is asleep. And um, it says, And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? So, you know, everything's going cool and, and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden this storm, you know, comes and <clears throat> they're freaking out and Jesus is asleep. And they're saying, Lord, like, or, or teacher, do you not care that we're about to die? We're about to perish. And God says, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And he calmed everything. So... I, I want to give you guys some encouragement that what whatever you're going through in your life, um, you may be going through some really hard times. Um, people deal with different things, but if you feel like you're not hearing from God, keep leaning on Him, keep seeking Him, and know that He is still God. And you have to remember, and not go on your feelings, but remember who He is. God is good. God does... God does not change. You still have to remember that God still absolutely loves you. And um, he did die for your sins on that cross. You know, he He died for you. He didn't die for, I mean, he, he died for you. He loves you. He died for your sins. And um, so even if you're going through things right now in your life and you, he, he seems silent, um, keep putting your trust and your faith in him that he's going to calm the storm for you um and maybe it's just that he wants you to to, to keep seeking him and have faith in him he's never going to leave you stranded so when the storm comes it may feel like that you're about to drown and go under but god still has you in his hands so you have to keep having faith and remember, he is who he says he is and that he loves you and he cares for you. And even if you're not hearing from him, even if you feel like you've drifted and you're a true born again believer, it doesn't mean that you have walked away from your salvation or that you've lost it or that he doesn't love you, he doesn't care about you. He does. 
Um, and, and maybe he, maybe he's just using this season in your life to wake you up and say, Hey, um, you know, keep having faith, keep seeking me. I'm right here. I'm, I'm never going to leave you. Um, and so I just wanted to leave you guys with that. I was stirring on it some more again today. You know, I even go through seasons in my life where I'm not hearing from him and, and it makes me appreciate and value the moments that I do. You know, I think back on, on those moments and it makes me draw closer to him and I keep having that faith um, because, you know, Jesus wants us to have faith. You know, he says, am I going to find faith in you when I come back? And um, so it's, I think it's very important. And God's never left you guys. Um, he's still right there. He still loves you and adores you. Um, it, we just go through these seasons and he, and, and he just wants us to have faith. So, I love you guys. Going to go ahead to lunch. Um, and I'll talk to you soon.